Hi everyone, this is Christy with Paper Hoarder Disorder. I have another mini to show you. This is, uh, I just finished this one up last night. This is using uh, Bo Bunny's brand new collection, Somewhere in Time. It's um, just an awesome steampunk um, paper. I hope that the colors are, are coming through on this one. It's very kind of vintage, of course, with the steampunk. Uh, and uh, a little more feminine than uh, masculine, but there are definitely masculine el elements in it. Uh, it's got uh, a beautiful deep teal and uh, uh, the lighter teal, of course, with the uh, monotones of the, the browns and blacks and lots of soft black in here. Uh, really lovely, lovely paper. So of course on here I picked uh, the corset because I love it. I added uh, a little bit of uh, shimmer paper and made a little flower with a little bead in the center here. Uh, this is just simply um, inked up on the edges. This is some of the layered chipboard, if you can see. So those are kind of layered up there. Uh, nice texture. I didn't get too crazy on this cover because I thought that the graphics um, kind of uh, said it all and I didn't want to interrupt anything on this corset. So I did uh, just the minimums on here. Uh, there is still an area up here if um, if this is to be titled. Uh, so we've got that or maybe somewhere in this area. So this is made with my um, six page boxed mini. So I will open it up and on the inside cover, I used one of the um, cut aparts, uh, one of the large cut aparts. And then over here, we have um, this, this pretty uh, mustard yellow with the blue, uh, very, very pretty. This is one of the die cuts from the Noteworthy. And then we've got a little chipboard piece with the hashtag, a little uh, label down here punched edge and then this is a magnetic closure that flips out and it gives you two more um, opportunities look at how great this paper is so much fun look at this dress form here isn't that great really really lovely and then we've got the hot air balloon up here very very fun stuff and then inside each one of these, just like all the boxed minis, um, there's a booklet in here. And here's the paper um, of the matte paper with the hot air balloons. And these are just black on the inside. And if I can get that back in there. And then on this page over here, we have one of the cut aparts one of the die cuts and these have a velcro closure with the the clear back velcro and then here we have some of the that's kind of the pipe the the deep deep teal and uh copper pipe paper um and a lot of this was made from um six by six there were six sheets of 12 by 12 and a part of a six by six pack uh, in order to make this album. Uh, plus, of course, black chipboard and black cardstock. And then over here, we have one of the little die cuts, and that is uh, bound on there with some uh, twine, some layered chipboard, and then there is a booklet up here. And that one opens up. Now, this one will also be uh, this one will be one of the ones that I am going to do a full video series on how to do the full pattern paper and uh, it'll all the the pattern will only be about decorating so it's going to whereas a lot of my patterns uh, they take you through the full construction from beginning to to a completed album and then they just start touching on how to do some of the decorating uh, in this series it's going to be it's going to pick up as soon as the album is made and then it's going to take you through the full decorating step by step uh, every little bit along the way uh, including you know tips and tricks uh, that I find useful so here we have another booklet one of the cut aparts so if you guys uh, like this paper and you want to make a boxed mini uh, if you want it to look just like this uh, you guys might be interested in doing something like that and and just craft along with me 
So over here we have, uh, this is a little Spellbinders die cut uh, out of this this shimmery brown. That's a little hard to see on the uh, on the uh, chevron. Uh, another little cut apart here, and it opens up. And on the inside of all of these, I use that same um, pipes paper with that dark teal and copper. And these those all close up. And then on this page here, this one is a magnetic closure. And he opens up like that. And then closes. Look at the time machine. Isn't it great? It's like a time machine. It, ma it makes me think of a time machine carriage, but it's probably not a time machine. <laughs> I guess it just makes me think of, uh, yeah. So that's probably just me. <laughs> and then again, here's some more of that same paper. So those booklets just slide back in there. And then over here, I love this cut apart. So very lovely. And then I added um, some some more of that shimmer brown paper, and that's another Spellbinders. I believe that's from Ironworks. And another Vel Velcro closure. A uh, great place to put either extra photos or journaling uh, and full-size photos there. And then this is from one of the, um, this is out of the Noteworthy, and it's a magnetic closure, and it comes up, and then we've got, um, it's hard to see, but this one is a, a layered chipboard, and it's even got some rhinestones on there of the key with the, um, the kind of scroll uh, bracket, and so that's a magnetic closure, and inside this one, we have this booklet, and then on the next page, we have the steampunk hat and some of the gear paper, and that opens up, uh, gears and roses, and then up here I added some more of the die cuts and more spell binders here, a couple of them layered up with that brown shimmer paper. And that same pipe paper over here. And then on this side, we have a couple of the die cuts from the Noteworthy. And these are popped up in the center. And we've got a booklet here. Just simple. And back behind here, I wanted to show you this. Uh, I love the vests and corsets paper. So super cute. You get a little bit of gears here. Some some roses up here. The the six by six um, was really just a perfect scale uh, for for this album. And uh, whenever I get an opportunity to use six by six, I grab it. Uh, the eight by eight also works well. Um, and sometimes, depending on the paper line, the the uh, twelve by twelve works just fine. But typically, the six by six is going to uh, do a much better job as far as scale on these albums. So over here we've got a Sizzix die cut here out of that same brown shimmer paper. Love this cut apart. Isn't that wonderful? So lovely. And then that flips out and shows this gear paper in here. And then over here we have um, this from the die cuts and this is from the layered chipboard. If you can see that, there's the layered chipboard, a little rhinestone in the center of the hands. And then this is an angled pocket, and it's got a booklet in here. That just slides in there, and we have this booklet here. And it's a great opportunity for some journaling. You can see how grunged up it is. Great paper. Love this stuff. Can't hardly seem to get enough of it, honestly. <laughs> So if you guys if you guys want to make one of these, if you want it just like this, um, stay tuned because that will be available shortly. And then over here we've got another one of the die cuts, some journaling lines here, another Spellbinders, I think that's Ironworks. And that comes out, and look at this paper down here, it's got uh, the little timepiece and some little scrolls. Nice, nice, nice paper. And then this is such a gorgeous uh, mustard with 
this uh, light kind of uh, almost a mint green with this deep teal. Uh, so, so gorgeous. And then, of course, the branches are kind of this copper color. Uh, and this one is another one, another Spellbinders here out of that same brown shimmer paper. And that is my album. So I hope you guys like it, and uh, if you want to make it along with me, uh, as soon as that's available, the video series, uh, it will be in the, um, it'll be in the link right there in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.